What's up? He's a newbie. Yeah, I'm a noob. Noob. So it's 7.15, Detroit time. Uh, gotta catch the 8 o'clock shuttle. Four times 8.22. And uh, flight time is 9.12 to then head back to Orlando. So we're gonna go ahead and get up, take a quick shower. Uh, get everything packed, it won't take me long, I don't have a whole lot. Get downstairs for the shuttle. Thanks for watching. That was um, a quick two-day trip to Houston. Um, nothing special, just your typical flight attendant. Um, we basically deadheaded from Orlando to Houston. We sat for three hours, um, then worked one flight to Detroit, um, where we spent the night, laid over, and then the next day was go home day, and we deadheaded home. I picked it up because it was a very, very easy trip worth um, not a ton of credit, but I mean, what, all you did was work one leg uh, and that was the second leg of the first day. So um, there's really not much more to say about that trip. Um, I know it wasn't a very action-packed video. It's not what, you th what a lot of people um, envision being a flight attendant is like, but honestly, it was one of the more realistic days of being a flight attendant. Um, not every place is exotic uh, layovers or fun layovers or des vacation destination layovers with lots of time. Um, this is the reality of, of being a flight attendant. This is the majority of what it's like being a flight attendant. Um, well, but if you have any questions, um, you know, feel free to ask. Um, and hopefully you like this video. I'd love it if you'd subscribe. Um, and I'd love it if you would uh, give it a thumbs up as for a like. I'd also love it if you have any questions, just ask. I'd be more than happy to answer them for you. So that's pretty much it. Um, not much to really talk about in this video other than that's that. All right. So thank you for watching and I will see you next time.